Egypt built its civilization around the River Nile. Today, the country's livelihood is entirely dependent on it. Nile River Basin countries are meeting in the Egyptian coastal city of Alexandria to discuss joint projects on the crucial river. But the gathering has been arguably overshadowed by tensions over sharing the water. Let's work together as Nile Basin countries so all of us can benefit from the water that is lost. I think these kinds of projects will surpass the small numbers we're talking about. Countries from where the river rises and passes through have suggested creating a new commission to govern the waterways issues, including water sharing. Egypt and Sudan on the other side insist such an entity must abide by a long-standing agreement from 1929. That agreement was signed between Egypt and Great Britain on behalf of the then East African colonies. It was later supplemented in 1959. It gives Egypt 55.5 billion cubic meters of Nile water a year, the largest share of the river's estimated 84 billion cubic meters. <laughs> Agriculture takes up more than 80 percent of Egypt's water consumption. This makes water an issue of national security here. In fact, the country's largest semi-official paper described it on Monday as a red line. The issue was not officially on the agenda of the conference, but it was raised by many of the speakers. They, however, mostly insisted on downplaying the role between the riparian countries. It is maybe a challenge, but it's not a problem. And you know, if life is full of challenges, and the challenges move us, motivate us. Egypt says it's open to discussing projects along the river, but it's insisting on three conditions granted to it under international law. Every state should enjoy water security proportionate to its population. In Egypt's case, that's 80 million people. Previous notification ahead of upstream construction and unanimous or majority approval to such projects. Officials hope the conference would serve as a confidence-building measure ahead of future gatherings. But it doesn't seem that Egypt would or could budge. The country is already under the per capita water poverty line. And Cairo is warning its water needs will surpass its demands in less than 10 years. Now we're Al Jazeera, Cairo.